Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump calls Roseanne after she drops nasty surprise on Stormy Daniels. Roseanne Barr was shocked when she received a phone call last night from President Donald Trump. The Hollywood celebrity who voted for Trump decided to reboot her 1990 sitcom Roseanne, and it premiered Tuesday night with over 18 million viewers. Trump congratulated Barr on her huge ratings, and he also thanked her. It seems that Roseanne also helped him out by giving porn star Stormy Daniels a nasty surprise. You'll love this. Roseanne Barr got the shock of her life when she learned that the President of the United States was waiting to speak to her on the phone. Barr was in the middle of celebrating her new show, a reboot of the 1990 sitcom Roseanne. She had taken a huge risk coming out of semi-retirement, leaving her home in beautiful Hawaii on a hunch that Americans wanted something other than what the leftist Hollywood crowd is offering on primetime TV. The Daily Caller reports, Barr, a Trump supporter decided to make her working-class character a supporter of Trump in the show and defended the president after an interviewer attempted to call her out for her beliefs during a Wednesday interview with Need. But that's not all. President Donald Trump personally called comedian Roseanne Barr Wednesday to congratulate her on the ratings of her rebooted 90s sitcom Roseanne, added The Daily Caller. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders told haters at The New York Times that Trump called Barr to thank her for her support and to congratulate her on the show's huge ratings Tuesday night. The phone call comes after Roseanne received at least 18.2 million viewers on the night of the show's return, after nearly 20 years off the air. During the show, the character Roseanne Connor offers grace before dinner, saying thank you Lord for making America great again. There's no doubt that the president was also thrilled Roseanne somehow beat out the much-hyped 60 Minutes interview with former porn star Stormy Daniels on CBS last Sunday. Right after the Daniels interview, Trump hater Stephen Colbert was celebrating on his show. Predictably, Stephen Colbert was pleased as punch to note that Daniels and Anderson Cooper drew so many eyeballs, and not just because his late show also airs on CBS, reported Vanity Fair. Of course, it all felt real. It all felt true. That felt truer than him getting elected, blasted Colbert Monday night. Then, the premiere of Roseanne happened Tuesday night, and Trump supporters watched, blowing drugged up Stormy Daniels' disgusting interview away. Of course, we don't have every single detail of what Trump and Roseanne said to each other, but knowing the president, I'm sure he mentioned she had trounced CNN's fake news Anderson Cooper in the Gold Diggers ratings. Twitter user Dash Riprock tweeted, Finally a sitcom for the right half of the country. The Roseanne relaunch is the most watched sitcom in four years. Even beat the stormy trash on 60 Minutes, deranged liberals in Hollywood should be very worried. Roseanne's stellar premiere also shut up the likes of every leftist who had been droning on and on about Daniel's interview. Ever since the Russia investigation fell apart, CNN and MSNBC had to sink even lower and drag the 30th porn star out of the muck, promising her the world if she could just say that she had a fling with Trump over a decade ago. What's the lesson learned? Those Trump haters have thrown every nasty, sneaky, slimy lie at the president, and somehow his approval ratings get higher. The economy has already outdone Obama's numbers for eight years. Those in Hollywood might want to take a cue from Roseanne Barr and figure out how to entertain middle-class working families, it seems to be the secret sauce in getting ratings. Barr said after the premiere, I am so happy. I left Hawaii last June to go to work to write the Roseanne shows. I worked hard through bronchitis, missing my grandkids and a bum knee, and you guys made it all worth it. Thanks so very much. President Trump called and thanked her too. Finally. We have a Trump character on primetime TV that honestly reflects middle class America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.